do with baby carrots? I would like to eat them, but we're gonna do a demonstration. Okay. All right, it's a food demonstration. Has it ever happened to anyone you know in the kitchen, they cut off a fingertip? Absolutely. Yeah, that's scary, no, right? Uh, sincerely, What yes. would you, like, the, uh, it's panic mode sets in, right? You don't know what to do, where to go. In my case, uh, when I cut my finger very severely, they slapped it back over, glued it together, powdered it, and I went about my day. Okay. Um, well, what happens if you cut off, if, yeah, you, if, if you, you literally chop it, sever, the, sever the finger? I would think, this is our, this is our I would think put it on ice, right? Right, yeah. Yes. The only thing is if you put it directly on ice, It'll you, burn it. you'll damage the tissue, exactly, you'll burn frostbite. It, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna wrap it in some kind of tissue or towel, a wet towel preferably, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and then, in the second hey, Ziploc Hey, man, bag, when it's your pinky. Exactly. You're gonna wanna know this, Let's get okay? some ice in there. Teamwork it. Yeah. Boom. So we get some ice. Boom. There you go. And then put the fingertip on ice to keep it cool, but without damaging it. You can reattach digits. Some, yeah? some. Yeah. It's always tricky, and there's gonna be a decision-making process, but get to the emergency room with this as fast as possible. Okay, That's your and you may not have as much nerve sensation, like I really don't. Yeah, and movement it. sometimes right. can be a thing. Could be, so. But it, you can attach it. Yes, at okay. times you can attach it. Now, what do you think that's gonna be our demonstration, a little garlic? I don't know, I have that's no idea. That's a tooth. Oh. We're going with the garlic to That's a to hell of a tooth. tooth, are you sure that? That's the angry vampire tooth. Wow, man. That, so, that's, that's like wolf man tooth, okay. <laughs> Okay, so if you Get knock a tooth, out a tooth. A tooth. Now yes. this does well, happen. Yeah. A lot of friends of mine that play hockey have yes. lost teeth in yes. their lives playing hockey. Hockey, football, yep. even a fall, it can totally happen. Right. So what you wanna do is you wanna not touch the root of the tooth because that's the most important part to reattach. That's what you're trying to protect. Exactly. Right. And if you can put it back in your socket and go to the emergency room, great. But if you can't, you wanna throw it in some milk. And I know that sounds funny, but- What does the, the milk do? The milk prevents the root from drying out wow. and damaging it. So you literally put some milk in milk there. Milk really uh, is good. Calcium is good See? for your teeth Look and bones. Yeah. <laughs> you do that and you can go to your dentist if your dentist has emergency services available, but a lot of times that's not the case and you may need a surgeon. So go to the emergency room. At least it'll room. protect the root. Exactly, you have wow. the tooth protected. There you go. So people wonder, what's the first thing to do in case someone has a major cut? How can we prevent that person from bleeding out? So the first thing you wanna do is put pressure on the wound as much as you can. Like if it's massive bleeding, exactly. you have to cut off the flow of you, blood. Like a plumber, right? Right. So you can get a, just a dress shirt. You could literally take this off. I would take mine off, but then that no, would be- No, oh. different show. Yes. <laughs> so totally different show. I'm sure they would not we'll, mind. We'll do like the little Hulk <laughs> maneuver. Okay. And then let's say the cut is here. Right. You want to go proximally, so closer to the heart to cut off the circulation. So always go as close to the heart as possible yes. to cut off exactly. the blood flow. And then you want to make a knot, but you want to make it very, very really tight. Really tight. You want to make the person scream, because by causing them pain, you're also saving their life. That's huge. You have to stop that blood you flow. You have right. to stop the blood flow, and this is going to give that person time in order to get their emergency responders to come and save their life.